Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? It's Friday, it is so sunny outside as you can tell by the glow behind me, but today it is friggin cold. I'm so tired of winter, I need something to make me think of warmer thoughts, so to speak. So, to me, when I think of spring, I think of fresh strawberries and strawberry shortcake and all that great stuff. But today I want to do something a little bit different than that. We're still making a standard strawberry shortcake. We're just doing it a different way. It all starts off with your everyday simple cake mix. I'm just using a golden because I love the flavor of it. You can use whatever you want. Um, I've done this with chocolate. You can do it with lemon and lemon and strawberries go so well together. But for me, nice golden cake always will always win. So I already have that in my bowl. I'm just going to add two capfuls of vanilla because vanilla is always ovens already. I'm just following the directions, by the way, on the box. If you want to make your own scratch sponge cake, please feel free. I wanted to today, but I want this now. <laughs> I'm feeling impatient. So I'm just doing it the quick way. So this recipe, this cake mix here calls for one cup of milk. Mm. They make these things harder and harder and harder to open. Ha. Calls for a cup of milk, half a cup of oil, and I just want to make sure I'm getting half a cup. There we go. And three eggs. So your everyday standard mix. I'm just putting this aside. Shove some stuff out of the way for another video maybe. And like I said, and three eggs. When a recipe calls for eggs, they call nor they'll just say eggs. They normally just mean large eggs. So if you're getting like real small ones, use four. If you're lucky enough and you can get huge extra large eggs. I keep losing things today. Need my cloth. Feel free, get those. So you just whisk all this up. You want it nice and smooth. I'm doing it by hand. You can use a stand mixer if you want, or if you have um, a beater, go for it. I just didn't feel like setting everything up today. So, <laughs> like I say today, for me, the sun is out. Like I say, it's beautiful. But I went out to pick up a few things, and it's just so cold outside. Again, we have that second camera going. So, in there, you'll be able to see just how quickly that comes together. You want to make sure you get as many of the lumps out as possible. But if you don't, don't worry about it. They'll cook out. To me, the main thing when you're making a cake is you don't over whip it. We're not trying to incorporate air into this. We're just trying to mix everything up. Get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We need that. <laughs> so instead, we'll just use something else. I love chocolate and strawberries. I love chocolate. And I love strawberries. So you put the two of them together, and then you put that in a cake. Yeah, you've got me. So I just have some chocolate discs here. I'm just putting in a handful. I'm mixing it in with the batter. Okay, two handfuls. 
because I just want those little chocolatey bits and I can take the time and chocolate dip the strawberries and do all that fun stuff but again this is more about the craving is hit and I want to eat now so <laughs> there are times I don't know how I worked in the smaller kitchen before because this one's like three times the size and I still run out of space when I'm shooting these videos the next thing we have is just a 9 by 12 baking sheet. Yeah, a baking sheet. I know they're only, like, not even an inch deep. And that's because that's exactly what I want. So, hey everyone, future me. I'm just editing this video and I realized I missed a step. And it's kind of important. <laughs> so right now you're looking at me, looking at a picture of a cookie sheet covered with some parchment. And I've told you to spray the cookie sheet down so the parchment sticks. I didn't tell you to spray the parchment down so that afterwards the cake won't stick. <laughs> Guess what? This is what happens when we really cook. I don't work for Food Network. I don't work for a professional bakery. This is me in my kitchen making things either you've requested or that I just want to eat. Sometimes it's a combination of both. So, please remember, spray that cookie sheet and the parchment. <laughs> we'll see you all again. So, we are carefully... Whoops. Well, as you can see in the other camera, I've lined this. Well, you can see it there, too. I've lined this with baking parchment. I sprayed the pan itself with oil, and that just helps all this to stick. And I made sure I had a good lip all the way around. Because this way, when it rises, it's not just pour out over the pan. So we're just going to pour this right on into our baking sheet. Gotta make sure we get all those chocolate. There we are. And then just sort of want to move it around. If you're not comfortable enough doing it this way, that's okay. Use a spatula. But I've, I've used too many dishes so far already. We just want to try and get this as, sorry for the noise, as even as possible. There we are. That's it. This now is going to go into the oven. The recipe on the box says 325. That's fine. And we're going to bake this for maybe 10 to 12 minutes. We'll keep an eye on it. And at about halfway through, so you're going to have to remind me about 12, 6 minutes from now, just to give that a spin. Because <laughs> I'm going to forget. Next thing you need, of course, when you're doing a strawberry shortcake, is whipped cream. And you need real whipped cream. Cool Whip doesn't cut it. Cool Whip's on pumpkin pie. It's not when you're cooking with real fruits and good quality ingredients and you want something that you're really going to enjoy. So we're just going to take a really quick pause because I have to wash the bowl and everything. I'll be right back. There we are and we are back. So we have our whipping cream. We have a clean bowl, some sugar, and add a little bit of vanilla to this as well. And I must be a sucker for punishment because I'm going to do this by hand. So 
we'll time lapse this part. I thought it was going to be good. It's time to break out the equipment. <laughs> there we go. Why don't these want to go in? There. Now we're in. Last thing you want to do when you're using your mixer is for the things to shoot out. Now, is this going to be nice? And reach? Nope. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, it's been one of these videos I see. So, <laughs> if I'd done this by hand, I'd still be mixing. But we have a nice, stiff whipped cream here. So, like everything else, away those go. And we'll just pack this up. So our whipped cream now is just going to go into the fridge. We want to keep this cool because once the cake comes out, it has to cool a little bit. And last but not least, of course, in a strawberry Shortcake, well, you need strawberries. Let's check the cake. It's perfect, the cake is doing exactly what it has to do. You are just gonna get a bowl. We'll put, have our strawberries to put into something. And the easiest way, just chop the top off. I'm not being fancy. Straightforward slices, as you see in the other camera. And being strawberries are still out of season, other than these hothouse things, which sometimes, sometimes are really tasty. Most of the time, me, not so much. You can see there's a lot of white still around the stem, so that's why I'm not worrying about hulling these strawberries. And here's another great example. I'm cutting that part off because there's absolutely no flavor to that. And if something doesn't add flavor to what you're cooking, don't add it. So, real simple, minus <laughs> the time it took me to mess around with the whipped cream, instead of just being smart and using the hand mixer right from the start, 
this has been really quick. Like, we're maybe at 15 minutes. The cake is pr almost done. Everything is ready. After this, it's just going to be the assembly. And the assembly is where I take things somewhere else. So we have our strawberries. Some I'm going to leave whole for now. Felt a bit squishy. Like when when it's strawberry season, and for one thing, when I can get the Quebec strawberries, those little sugar gems, then when I make strawberry shortcake, wow, it's like every night. Not always with whipped cream. Sometimes I'll turn around. I'll do, I'll do it with ice cream. I'll do it with uh, you, you name it. I've done them with vanilla Jello, just because you know Jello pudding. Just because, why not cake, pudding, ice cream, strawberries? Who can go wrong? <laughs> so, we're almost done. We're going to take a small little break. We're going to wait for that cake to come out of the oven. We're going to clean up here because we're going to need some space. And until then, we'll see you all in just a few minutes. And there we go. We have what really hot. <laughs> it's better. One sheet pen. Springy to the touch, which is perfect. And now might come the hardest part of this whole recipe. We have to transfer. Oh. The joy of parchment paper. A little bit of oil and forethought. So, what we're going to do here, and I'm going to have to adjust my camera because... The other one died on me. Never, never fails. But while this cake is hot, that's the important thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. You had an extreme close-up of the cake there. But now while this cake is hot, we want to lightly roll this up okay perfect so just like just like that is what we want this now so this cool off. There we are. <laughs> this has to cool down now. It has to cool to room temperature. So this is gonna take 15, 20 minutes to come down to temperature. Once that's done, that shape will hold. We'll assemble our cake. We'll show you how I just dress it up. And of course, we have to have a taste. So till then, we'll see you all soon. Hello everyone. Well, the joys of baking and cooking. I forgot to do something. <laughs> when you do this, you like I said, I told you, 
spray your pen so the parchment will stick. I forgot to tell you to spray the parchment as well so your cake won't stick. I forgot. It happens. The cake sort of fell apart a little bit. But that is okay. We're going to be putting all kinds of stuff on here and rolling it back up. So no one's going to know. Well, we'll know. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just taking my whipped cream. I'm just going to put a thin layer down. It doesn't have to be too, too much. This is more just to hold some of the strawberries and stuff in place. Mm. Tastes really good, though. So, there we go. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because all this is going to get rolled up. Now, we take our strawberries and we just sort of sprinkle them all over the inside. Try and get it kind of even, though. And just make, whoop, <laughs> slippery one. I'll just make things that little bit easier once we do roll this up. Okay. So what I am doing though is I'm not going too, too close to the edge that will be closed up because it'll just make it too hard to close. So we have all of our strawberries there, as you can see. Well, most of our strawberries. And now comes the fun part again. We take our cake, and now we start pulling the parchment back. Okay, and this is where oiling the parchment would have made such a big difference. But, like I said, it's not the end of the world. After all, this is cake. It's still going to taste great. Ta-da! <laughs> you can see a few little of the cracks where the cake actually was broken. But, okay. What I am going to get, though, is a plate or something to put this on, because I didn't think ahead. There we go. And just to make it a little bit nicer, I'm going to take another little piece of parchment. As the saying goes, this is what happens when you're really cooking. We aren't in a fancy test kitchen. We aren't in any big studio. We're just cooking at home the same way you are. So things happen. So now we're going to take this. Come on, get on there. And roll it on. We have messy fingers to lick. Mmm. Whipped cream is nice. It's not too sweet. Just get rid of this. Just going to give our area a little wipe down. So we have our cake. I have whipped cream on me. <laughs> now we're just going to use the rest of our whipped cream. And here's where you can get as fancy or as simple as you want. 
I'm being very, very simple. I'm just putting a thin layer of this down. If you wanted, you could put your whipped cream in a piping bag and make it look all pretty. But I've said it before. I'll say it again. I want food that I'd rather have food that tastes good than just looks good. A little bit more whipped cream here. It's not the prettiest roll because we made a mistake. We'll have some fun after maybe and do another one so that I can show you what a proper one looks like. <laughs> and then again, I'm just going to take some of those whole strawberries that we had. And there were a few of the cut ones that didn't make it in. And that's it. If you want, you can drizzle this with a bit of chocolate. You can put some chocolate shavings on top. If you want to do a tradi traditional Swiss roll, just fill your cake with a standard icing, a buttercream. A buttercream is great because it's simple to make. It's two parts icing sugar to one part butter. Make sure your butter is at room temperature and softened and sift your icing sugar into it. Then you can add whatever flavorings you like. If you want to do mint, if you want to do chocolate, if you want to do vanilla, lemon, your choice. It's that simple to do. So we have our finished cake. Say, there's gaps, who cares? Guess what, I'm eating it. I don't care. <laughs> And if we take a nice little cut down into this, you can feel that I'm cutting through the strawberries. And get our plate. there we go we have our strawberry shortcake swiss roll and for all the little mistakes and for all the little glitches it all comes down to one thing mm. that lightly sweetened whipped cream <coughs> The fresh berries, the butter, butteriness of the cake, that little vanilla that we added to it. Mm. Just so good. A quick dessert to prepare. You saw we had everything done in under 15 minutes. Would have been quicker if I'd used the mixer. <clears throat> Sorry. Do this for a dinner party. Do this for when you have friends or family over. Just do it any day. You need that little pick-me-up. Strawberries are incredible for that. They'll always make you smile when you eat them. So, even though it didn't come out 100% look-wise, it definitely brings home all that flavor. So, until next time, <laughs> which hopefully will work out better considering what I'm planning on. <laughs> My name is Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're coming back, 
give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, share this video with family and friends, share this video on your social media, wherever you want, feel free. Someone you know will want to try this. So, until next time, I'm happy you stopped by my kitchen, and we'll see you all again. Have a great day, everyone. I'm going to go finish this. Bye.